Hello, my name is Zach. In behind me is my 1976 Surfside Trader. I'm going to show you a little tour of what uh, it's like right now, what I've done so far to it, and then we'll discuss what I want to do, and then I'll show you some videos as I progress and, and work on it. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here it is. But just before I take you a tour inside and around the outside, let me show you a few pictures about what it was, what it looked like before, how I bought it, the condition. Okay, so this is it right now. Uh, we've owned it for a little over a year. Uh, last year we gutted it completely, right down to just a shell. We resealed up all the windows. I installed a bigger refrigerator in it. I uh, put a hot water tank here, on-demand hot water tank. We've got uh, two, a two propane tank holder, battery box, and then of course a new regulator. Repack the wheel bearings. I installed uh, an electrical outlet here because I didn't like the cord that you'd pull out. This is just a plug now. Plug a, your extension cord in there. I don't use this water tank anymore to fill. I'll show you that on the other side. Bike rack here. We go around here's the water fill now put it over here I'll show you inside why I changed the layout a little bit the sink used to be there and then a little burner beside it the refrigerator was in the same spot but we've just now increased it a little bigger now and then there's the furnace so this is the sink now Put it up here, just a, a little IKEA sink. We got a cupboard here beside it. Down here is our where our toilet goes now. So we'll have our toilet in there. And then I'm gonna build this so this that board it flips up, and this is gonna be a shower. So I'll show you that later. I don't know if you can see that a little bit there. So we put a full-size stove in it. I just picked these up from a used RV place. The cheapest way to do it. Same with the fridge, used RV. And then we rebuilt, I just rebuilt all the cabinets. It's just half inch plywood, standard plywood. And I put a cabinet up top here because uh, we fa I found that the fiberglass was sagging here. I wanted to support the roof. And so that's what, uh, why that's there. Little cabinet here. So this is the, the closet here. The closet. And see, it opens up. Just put some shelves in there. And the face is just three quarter inch pine painted. Exposed hinges, just little magnets to keep the doors closed. The floor is just that sheet vinyl floor that you can buy from Home Depot. And it's all one piece, and then I just glued it down before I put the built the cabinets. So we built the bed out a little further. We wanted a bigger bed, so that was one of the benefits of getting rid of the sink that was here. It was a little bit more over here, the sink. So we got rid of that sink slid it over and then we could put it's almost a full-size queen here it could fit in the in this area so 
So that's it so far. Place the, the vent, new vent up top. Here we put a, a screen, you know, one of those, uh, I don't know what they call it, magic screens or something. They got magnets in them, they roll down and click together, click in and out. So that un, unsnaps there and that rolls down and then keeps the bugs out. Even in Canada, there's lots of mosquitoes around here. Okay, so that's the inside so far. But let me, I'll show you a few of the projects that uh, I've done. So here's where the water tank is now. That's why it used to be over on this side here on the right hand side. But we got rid of that. I'll show you what's over there now. But I, I moved it to the left hand side here. And it's a fairly good size. That's a three foot long, by about 14 inches wide by 12 inches deep. So it holds a lot of water. Uh, and then that fill just goes straight through there. Right in here. And then that's the that's the fill outside there. So it goes right in. That's the, the closet. So that's what I did for my water tank. And again, I just got that from a used RV place too. Okay, so here's the other side of the trailer. So the water tank used to be in here but I took the water tank out of here, put it in the other side as I showed you. So this is the plug right here. It's coming in from the outside and it's got this cord on it. Just bought it off of Amazon. Here's the cord and I just plugged it into a surge protector. So norm normally a surge protector, it just sits on top of this box here that, that protects the water pump. So I got my water pump in here and then on top of this, usually I'll ha I've got a little trickle charger too that I plug on there that maintains my battery and also it'll run if I'm plugged into shore power it'll run um, my lights without putting a drain on my battery at all and my pump things like that so the, the pump is actually too big that's one thing that I discovered uh, it's too big for this situation so I'm, I've got a smaller pump I'm going to be putting in there and I might be using that pump as uh, the drain for my shower but we'll see we'll see how that goes okay so here's our furnace. It's just a natural aspirated furnace. There's no blower on it or anything. Um, but we do a lot of boondocking, so it, it helps. You can just have it. Uh, it doesn't uh, use any power if you don't want it to. But I am going to put this little fan in it. I got this little fan for it. So if I want, I can plug that in. So that's a project coming up and then I'll put the grill back on. I just wanted to show you the front of the trailer and the shower set up so far. Obviously I need to do a little more work here but so this is it. This cab cabinet opens and that just stays open when we're in the trailer and then this here just flips up. So I've got it so that it hinges, hinges there and then there's a hinge in the bottom side also and that just flips up and there's just a little tab here locks that together and then I don't know if you can see this very well it's, not, it's hard to show but then you've got the full height there all the way to the top of the ceiling so I'm going to build a pan in the bottom here. I'm going to build a fiberglass pan, put my drain. Okay, so now what do I want to do? Uh, this year I want to get a few projects done. Uh, the first thing I want to get done is I need more ground clearance. It's way, way, way too low. And I'd like to put a gray water tank underneath there. So I've got some bigger tires, spacer to go in there. Uh, we can discuss that. I'd like to reinforce this. You see how it's it's the weak spot right here. So I'd like to put a, a plate. And then I'd also like to try and somehow figure out how I can put a spare tire in here. I don't know how I'm going to get it in there or underneath. Uh, we'll have to see. Because at the back of it underneath, I'm going to have the, the gray water tank. So I don't know if I'm going to have room under there for a spare tire also. So up here, we're going to try and see if we can figure out how to put it here somewhere. All right, so that's the projects. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my trailer for today. Uh, just to give you a little background on this model, it was built by Triple E, 
located in Winnipeg, Canada. And this, again, the name's called Surfside. It's a 14 foot trailer, factory weight, 1600 pounds. If you have any other questions, please just post them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Again, thanks for watching.